Have you ever wondered how much money you would have made if you had just put $100 or $1,000 into the top cryptos during the last bear market? It definitely seems easier than having to spend hours going through projects, reading white papers, trying to understand tokenomics, figuring out who the team is, if you can trust them. In order to even do that, you have to have spent time already doing that and learning how to do that to even understand what you're looking at. All those hours just to get rugged by someone like SBF or Do. Maybe even this guy. Look, I get it. As someone who loves running numbers, this is something that definitely crossed my mind as well. Like a lot of you, I'm tired of trying to figure out which crypto should I buy? So what if I just bought them all? So of course, I decided that that's exactly what I'm going to figure out in this video. I promise the end result will probably shock you as much as it shocked me. So first, I needed to find the historical data for the previous bear market. Thankfully, CoinMarketCap keeps historical snapshots that we can access. Now, it's important to note that they are weekly snapshots, so that's what we're gonna be working with. Next, I need to find the exact week of the bottom. When I say bottom, I will be referring to Bitcoin's bottom. So to make this as simple as possible, we're just looking at the weekly Bitcoin chart here. Very easy to see. This is where the bottom was back in 2018. You can see that it says down there on the bottom, December 10th. So I'm gonna look here for December 10th, 2018. 18. So there's a ninth and a 16. We're going to go with whichever price is lower. The ninth was 3614. The 16th was 3252. So we're going with December 16, 2018. Now, again, not the exact bottom, but close enough. Step two. Now we're going to repeat the same exact process to find the bull market peak. The peak was in November of 2021. And I was able to find a historical snapshot of the 14th of November of 2021. Bitcoin's price was at 65,466. Once again, not the exact top, but close enough. So now that we have gathered all the data for the bear market and bull markets, now we just gotta put it all together. And to do this, I'm going to ask for some help from our good old friend, ChatGPT. So first off, let me say that I love using ChatGPT. It definitely makes life easier for a content creator like myself. It actually helped me write an outline for this video, which I didn't end up using, but it opened up the idea on how to begin the video. Video. But during this research, I found out that ChatGPT gives a lot of wrong answers. Like, a lot. Especially when it comes to data and running numbers. It gets confused. A lot. So first, basically, I told it to compare the top 10 cryptocurrencies, provided it with the link to the two websites with the historical data, then asked it to create a table of that comparison, comparing the change in price and market cap. Also showing what a $1,000 investment in each of them in the first link would be worth during the second website's timeline. So here's the first result that it gave me. Notice the order. The first three coins are correct, but after that, it just threw them at random apparently. But even worse, look at the price change and market cap change it gave us. Bitcoin 1056%. XRP minus 86%, Ethereum plus 40%, Cardano minus 96%. I didn't need a calculator to know that that was wrong. So I tried again. Also had it include the price from each time period and to include what the thousand dollars would be worth before and after. Also including a profit loss percentage gain. I was trying to figure out where it was making the mistakes. Once again, the list was out of order. The prices it gave me were different than the website links. The total invested and current value were also both wrong. So we tried again. It apologized for his mistakes and once again made more mistakes. This went on and on and on and on. Eventually I had to specify the order of the coins because it just did not get it. So after a few hours, got frustrated and decided I'd have to manually do it on a Google spreadsheet. I kept chat GPT's part in this as simple as possible. Given the many mistakes, confusion and frustration throughout this process, some of these numbers can be off. But at the end of the day, I wasn't trying to be exact. I just wanted an overall idea. So on the spreadsheet, I broke it down into the top 10 coins, excluding stable coins, and used ChatGPT to get the price data on these, even though again, they might be off a little bit. Then also asked ChatGPT for the price change between these two numbers. The market cap data is not too important. I didn't really use it for anything. And for the value of the $1,000 in 
invested into each of these, I did use a formula here so that we did not have to rely on ChatGPT because it kept giving me results like this where I had to ask it, how did you get 33,000 value of $1,000 invested if the total price change was 1,944%? And again, it apologized. Several times it even forgot what it was doing and I had to continue regenerating responses. You can see again, I had to provide the links. Then I couldn't remember what chart I was referring to or the instructions. So I did this process for the top 100 coins in 2018, comparing the price data to 2021 to get the results, which were pretty interesting to say the least. So first of all, if we put $1,000 into the top 100 coins during the bottom of the previous bear market, which would have been a total investment of $100,000, it would have returned $821,850 or more importantly, 821.85%. Knowing the percentage is more important because you can then calculate it regardless of the amount of capital that you're using. Next, I wanted to know what if I just put $1,000 into the top 10 coins at that time in 2018, and this gave me even a better return at 1,608%, which would have been a profit of around $160,806 on a $10,000 investment. So to take it a step further, I said, okay, let's break down the top 100 coins, but break them down into sections of 25. So top 25, 26 through 50, 51 through 75, and 76 through 100. I wanted to see how each of these sections performed compared against each other, and also wanted to track which coins either went to zero or went negative during that time period. We'll call those coins that busted. So here were the results. The top 25 coins returned 1,846.28%, which on a $25,000 investment would have been $461,570. 26 through 50 returned 435%, $108,750. 51 through 75 returned 254%, 63,500 dollars and 76 through 100 returned 351 percent 87,750 dollars also notice the bus here you can see at the top 10 and top 25 zero projects went to zero or stayed negative throughout those time periods however 26 through 100 we had 23 different projects bus within 26 to 100 you can also see that the percentage kept dropping as we went back except here at 76 to 100 and this was mostly due to one project that project was theta this project on its own basically carried the back end with 9476% gain or $94,000 so it made up for the nine projects that either went negative or went to zero in this back end 25 coins so the top 25 coins definitely ended up giving us the best return on our investment out of all of these scenarios slightly edging out the top 10 coins so I know it's a lot of info and after I spent all these hours going through all of this data I said well, what if I just held Bitcoin through that same time period? If I would have just held Bitcoin, it would have returned 1,913% or $478,250 on a $25,000 investment. This would have outperformed all of these. And what if I just bought and held Ethereum? Well, then the return was over 5,000% giving us a clear winner. Our 25,000 would have profited $2.5 million. So here's a few things I learned throughout this experience. First, sometimes we overanalyze and sometimes the easiest solution gives the best result in this case just holding either Bitcoin and Ethereum would have outperformed any of these other strategies second if I was to do any of these strategies in preparation for the next bull cycle apart from just holding Bitcoin or Ethereum it will probably be sticking to the top 10 or the top 25 coins these will give you the best bang for your buck and probably be the most reliable as you guys saw beyond that the pull of projects just got a little murky. A lot of the coins were hit or miss and this could really weigh down your portfolio. The third lesson I learned, I looked back at the 2015 bear peak to 2017 bear peak as well. And you can see how much less of a run up was experienced in the recent bear to bull cycle. Look at Bitcoin, 83,600%. Ethereum was 576,600%. I expect as we go forward into the next bull run, we see more of this same trend where the volatility and the parabolic activity 
goes down. I don't think Bitcoin will see another 1,900% run up in the next bull cycle or Ethereum sees another 5,000% run up in the next cycle. You're probably gonna have to play the altcoin lottery to see if you can hit one of those. And the fourth thing that I learned, possible ways to make this strategy better, maybe weighing your investments heavier into the top 10 while also still diversifying into the top 25. Maybe you can include some lottery micro caps as well and just weighing more of your investments into projects and coins that you really, really believe in while still diversifying into the top 10, top 25 coins. At the end of the day, there's no magic pill to figure this out that guarantees you to outperform the market. You will need to put time into it. You will have to do your own research. Now, if you're either lazy or maybe you just don't have the know-how on how to do research or maybe you don't have the time, there's two things that I could recommend to you. Number one, you can sign up to my mentorship group where I do all the research for you. I tell you exactly what I'm buying and why. I also share my weekly takes on the market, micro cap projects that have a potential to maybe 100x, and the trades that I'm taking every single day. Now, the second option is just buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and hold. Now, before you guys leave, you do not want to miss out on a coin that has a big halving event this August. Just click the video on the screen right now and see my exact game plan on how I plan to make $1 million with Litecoin. I'll see you guys in that video. As always, peace and love.